Conditional formatting is a more advanced way to format cells or groups of cells based on criteria set by the user. Formatting will automatically update based on the criteria set and the values within the specified cells. In this lesson, we're going to deal exclusively with the conditional formatting tool in the Home Ribbon. We're going to see how to set a rule, manage rules, use data bars, and use icon sets. So here we have a table of clients with each client's bill rate per hour. We're going to use conditional formatting to highlight those bill rates and everything that's over $100 an hour we're going to highlight red and everything under we're going to highlight green. So let's go ahead and start and we will just highlight the cells we want to affect. And then we'll go to our conditional formatting button on the home ribbon just to set our first rule, everything over $100. So we're going to take our first choice that says highlight cells rules and we're going to choose the greater than option. Now that'll pull up a dialog box on this simple rule and the style is going to be classic. We're just going to keep that the same. And then format only cells that contain. Here's where you can kind of tweak different rules but this kind of is set by what we clicked first under the conditional formatting tool. So we'll keep it as format only cells that contain and then you build your condition on the next row. A cell value that is greater than and again if I click that I can change the greater than to be between not between equal to but we're going to stick with greater than, and the value is going to be 100. Now, on this dialog box, we get many choices of format, and Excel gave us the one we want to start with, light red fill with the dark red text. See, there's many more. If I go to custom format, I have many, many more options for formatting, but this is just kind of some of the basics that will get you to set up a format quickly. So we'll click OK, and there you have it. All the cells that were over 100, our red background with a, a dark red text. So let's go and add another rule to it. We'll highlight the same cells. So we're going to start building that rule the same way. We'll go to our conditional formatting button and the highlight cells rules submenu. But this time we're going to do the less than choice. And again, really all that does is fill in this bar here to be less than as opposed to greater than or some other condition. So we're going to format only cells that contain a cell value less than 100. But let's change the format this time. We want it to be green because that's a good bill rate. And we'll click OK. And now you see that the bill rates that are under $100 have a green background and a dark green text. Now, one of the things we talked about is this conditional formatting will be dynamic based on what values in the cell. So let's look at that. On cell that's 50, let's make it 130. And you see the conditional formatting automatically changes the format. And when I need to change it back, the formatting will change back. Notice one other thing. The value of 100 isn't red or green. You have to be careful when you set up your rules because we set up our over 100 to be just over 100, didn't include 100. And we set up the rule for green to be less than 100. So that bill rate that's exactly $100 doesn't fit either of the criteria. We actually want all of our bill rates to have some color, so let's go ahead and modify that. And we're going to highlight all the cells who we want to affect, and we're going to explore the Manage Rules option. Go to Conditional Formatting, and Manage Rules. This Manage Rules dialog will show you all the rules that apply to the current selection. If you want to see all the rules on the worksheet, you can click this drop down and show you all the ones on the sheet and different formatting options for formatting alignment, numbers, or dates, different ways to see all the rules on the worksheet. But We'll just stick with current selection, and we want to modify the rule here where the cell value is greater than 100. So all we're going to do now is go to this Edit Rules button, and it brings up the dialog box again. So we'll come down here, and where it was greater than, we'll change that to be greater than or equal to, and that should include our value of 100. And we'll click OK, click OK, and now you see 100 is indeed covered by the rule of greater than or equal to 100. We might set up rules that we like, but maybe you know we added some more data values down here at the bottom. We've got three more clients. Is we can use that manage rules dialog box to go ahead and expand our range down and actually over to this column as well, the column C. That might be the new bill rates the clients have quoted us. So we'll go to conditional formatting. And we'll go to Manage Rules. And this time, show formatting rules for the current selection. Well, I don't have any rules applied to the cell I'm on. So I'll go ahead and change this and be all the rules for this sheet. 
And now you see the two rules we have come up. For the one where the cell value is less than 100, we went in before and edited the rule. This time, we want to edit what it applies to. Right now, it's only applying to B8 to B13. So we want to change that to include more rows in column C. So let's go ahead, highlight this, use our range selector, and go over and select our brand new range. And that's how that one will work. It's going from B8 to C16 now. And on the next rule down, the, where the cell value is greater than or equal to 100, let's don't use the reference editor. Let's just type over the values that we need. That's going to be still be B8, but then we're going to go to C16. So there are two different ways to expand your range with conditional formatting. Click OK, and now our conditional formatting rules are applied to that whole table. Those are some pretty good tools for formatting our data in a table, and they do make some values stand out. But let's look at a couple more dramatic options included with conditional formatting. In column D, we're going to look at data bars. So let's highlight our cells that we want to apply some conditional formatting rules to in column D. We're going to highlight D8 to D16, and we'll go to conditional formatting tool, and go down to data bars. And you have a couple different options, gradient fill, and Solidville, and these are just going to be slight differences in, in the way that the data bars look. But we're going to choose a solid fill first, and we're going to choose a blue data bar. And click that, and notice right away, Excel went in there and it applied a data bar to each value. And the neat thing about this is, the data bar's length is relative to the biggest value in that range. So for example, 180 is the largest bill rate. Well, that data bar goes all the way to the end of the cell, where 60 is smaller, but it's relative to all the other values in that range. So that makes the data look better, but there's a way to even make that data bar look even nicer. Let's go back to Manage Rules. And instead of Current Selection, we want to go to this sheet. Now let's click our Data Bar Rule, and we're going to edit the rule. Now here there's a lot of options. Right now the minimums and maximums are automatic. If you wanted the maximum bill rate to be 200 so that the data bar doesn't go all the way to the edge of the cell, you could set that there. You can make it a number, maybe the highest value, you can make it on percentage. When you specify one of these more discrete values, then you have the option to actually type it in, in the minimums and maximums. And then the context is going to be left to right or right to left. The next option we want to look at is this checkbox right here that, shows, that says Show Data Bar Only. We'll click on that, and then we'll just go ahead and click OK. And click OK. And what that did is on our worksheet, it actually hides the value. So now the data bars look really sharp. It's really a dramatic visual on which bill rate is the highest, which is the lowest. Uh, you still have your numbers in other columns. So if you needed to show those, those are okay. But for the visualization, the data bar by itself is really sharp. One thing to notice, though, as I click on each of these data bars, look at the formula bar. The value doesn't ever go away. It's just a presentation option of the conditional format to not show the number, but show the data bar instead. We've got one more option that we're going to look at in conditional formatting, and these are the icon sets. The data bars do show a good visual representation but sometimes on a report, you might want to just show a quick little status indicator, traffic light or something like that. What we're going to do is take our bill rates, and everything that's over 150, we want to give it a red traffic light. Everything from 100 to 150, we want to have a yellow traffic light, and every bill rate under 100 will be green. So let's see how we can do that with conditional formatting. We'll start by highlighting our range, because that's the easiest way to do it. It'll pre-fill our range for us, and we'll click on our conditional formatting tool and go down to icon sets. Now you see there's many different options. We've got directional sets, we've got different shapes, got some indicators and some ratings. There's the data bars like on a cell phone, some completion indicators. We're going to stick with the shapes and just go with a simple green, yellow, red traffic light. Now as is the case sometimes with Excel, it'll take a guess and just pre-fill in your values. Even though the traffic light symbols look good, they're really not what we want because the way Excel set it up, my highest bill rates are green, my medium ones are yellow, and my lowest ones are red. It's not a big deal though. We can go back in 
and set those up appropriately by going back to manage rules. Now this time we have an icon set rule and we're going to edit the rule and there's a lot of different options. Um, the icons are red, yellow, and green. Now one of the options here, reverse icon order. Well that's the first thing we want to do because right now it's looking like Excel has put the lowest one that's put a red traffic light by. So we need to do that but we also need to change the actual setup for how these lights are applied because Excel when it did an icon touch just did a percentage mapping. Everything that was greater than 67 percent was red. Everything that's between 67 and 33 is yellow. Everything under 33 percent is green. We want to have these be actual values. So we want to display red when the value is greater than or equal to 150 but it's not 150 percent it's an actual number. So we'll type in 150 again and now we'll do the same thing with yellow where everything is based on a number and it's going to be less than 150 and greater than or equal to 100 and then finally the third icon is going to be set just by default it's going to say everything else everything that's less than 100 so now we can click OK and now our icons look right our high bill rates of 160 and 180 get a red icon everything between 100 and 150 is yellow and the last indicator green is everything under 100. Let's go ahead and apply that show icon only rule to the icon sets as well and see how that looks. I'm going to manage rules, edit rule, and my checkbox right here to show the icon only, I can click that. And then when I click OK, the icon goes right in the middle. And it is one of those very sharp looking dashboard type indicators that can show a quick health or status of a particular value. Again, like the data bar, when I click in the cell, the value's still there. We're just using that column to only display an indicator light. One good thing to do in practice is kind of similar to what we've done in our example. Use some of these together. You know, you might want to show the bill right and have some numbers on there, but the icons really draw your eye faster than the numbers do. I can tell really quickly which rows have a high bill rate by looking at my icon set. I kind of can on the conditional formatting we set up with the colors, but it's much clearer. It's much more evident what I need to look at by looking at the icon set. So as you've seen, conditional formatting is an excellent way to help you format your data in a meaningful way. And the great thing about it is you set up the formatting rule or rules up and you never have to waste time formatting each and every cell again depending on its value.